Hello and welcome to week four of Critical Thinking in Global Challenges. Last week we learned how to assess arguments using a five-step technique. We saw that to evaluate argument effectively, its structure, clarity, evidence and the logic of the argument should be critically assessed. The learning objective of this week is to further practice critical thinking skills and assessing argument using this five-step technique. As last week, we're giving you the opportunity to choose the current challenge as a basis to apply your skills. This week exercises are a bit more challenging, so do not hesitate to have a look at last week's video on assessing argument again. In the theme Obesity with John Menzies, you will look behind the headlines of news stories on food addiction and examine the credibility of this concept. In the theme Climate Change with Richard Milne, you will investigate common fallacies used by climate change deniers. I recommend this exercise for those of you that would like to practice identifying fallacies further. In the theme Population with Mayang Dutia, you will explore arguments on the effect of increased population on society. In the theme Infectious Disease with Kim Picozzi, you will critically think about and reflect on how approaches to understand and controlling infectious disease have changed in the past few years. I recommend this exercise for those of you that feel confident with critical thinking and would like to practice using these skills to reflect more deeply on concepts. It's a move from critical thinking to critical reflection. As last week, the choice of theme is yours. You can pick one or even two or even work on all four themes. Make sure to watch the introduction video before attending to do the exercise. So good luck. I hope you will enjoy doing the exercise and see you next week for the final week of the course.